Hello. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the installation of Ricochet aluminum floorboard skids on a 2018 Polaris Ranger 1000. Um, the first thing you need to do is to remove these three factory bolts. I've uh, already taken care of that on that machine. Once you get those three bolts out, you're ready to uh, install your skid. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have two of these nut plates and you need to put it inside this channel here. There's a little slot in front of it and there's a hole down in the bottom. So you're going to take your nut plate, you're going to slide it into the channel and then just bring it over and line it up with that hole. Um, you got two of those front and rear. I've already got the rear one in there. Um, once you do that, you're ready to actually go ahead and put your plate into a position. Those three bolts that you pulled out, you're actually going to reuse. You're going to just put those along with a, your cup washer and reuse those factory bolts. So you're going to take your skid plate, put it up into position, get it kind of, you know, tucked in on this corner here. That's where it's going to want to fit the best. And then you go ahead and take your, uh, the factory bolts that you've already removed with the cup washers, start those. When you uh, are putting these factory bolts back in, it's going through plastic before it's biting into the, uh, you know, the frame. And it's a little easier, it's kind of easy to get them cross-threaded. So make sure that they're going in nice and straight. And if they're kind of starting to bind up on you, you know, don't just keep turning and forcing them home. Because um, you're probably just going to tear the thread out. They should, they should go pretty easy. So like I say, if you see they're, you know, kicking off at a weird angle or they're getting real tight on you, you know, maybe back off and make sure you're getting them in square. Um, you just don't want to cross thread anything there. So get those in. Just gonna snug them down, not tighten them down, but just kind of snug them down. Okay. Now you've got two longer bolts. And you're gonna take those with a washer, and you're gonna put a little anti seize on those. And the easiest way to do it, there's a little slot in this floorboard skid. Take your finger, you can put it in there, and hold that nut plate down while you start the bolt. If you don't hold that nut plate down, you can kind of just push it up with a bolt before it'll catch the thread and it just makes it a little difficult to get started. But if you just hold it down with your finger, you get the thread started, and it's pretty, pretty easy. It can be a little tight, so I mean, if you got some bigger fingers or whatnot, maybe solicit your kids help or you know whatever the case may be or a pair of angled needle nose anything to go there and hold that nut plate down I know it's a little bit tight for some people but okay once you get those two bolts started you got one more and that's going to be a bolt and uh, two washers and then a nut and it's going to go right back here there's already a hole in the frame for it slide it through slide the washer over and then start the nut okay before you tighten everything down just make sure you're fitting pretty good you know up front on this corner that's all looking pretty good so you're ready to tighten everything down this you don't need to go out putting a wrench on it's captured it will not spin Then you can do these three. And then that just leaves us the one in the rear. Need a wrench on that one for the nut. Okay, so that takes care of the aluminum floorboard installation. Thanks for watching.